Y'all, I'm so happy. My 30 inch. Came and fit in the screen. 30 inch wig. Came in the mail. Y'all, this wig is such a good price. I don't even think I'm going to share it. I might have to gatekeep because I don't know. The knots are super small. Hairline is hella full. This is 180 density. This is 30 inches. 180 density, 13 by 6. I do not like when 13 by 6 wigs do this. This is supposed to be 13 by 6. What is this? Hold up. I mean, it goes back. Hold on, I need to compare. The wig right here is a 13 by 6. Or is this 4? Yeah, this is 13 by 6. Maybe they all do that. I mean, this is what it looks like. Actually, I think this one is like 13 by 4. Oh, yeah. Oh, all right. Oh, all right. Wait, is it? I think so. This is a 13 by 4. Oh, I got dye all on. The, so, the dye got to the, on the legs, but it didn't stick to the bangs. Like, look at it. It's still brown. Okay, okay. I'll let it slide. But it looks similar. Except... I don't know. Looking at this one. Okay. That's not bad. But the real test is how it looks after you wash it and you let it dry. Um, I think I'ma just hopefully it don't tangle. It feel really soft. It feel it feel real to me. 30 inches and the front was like this long i don't know how long it is but wow y'all definitely gonna have to pluck because look at this straight his hairline i actually saw a plucking tutorial on tiktok i'm gonna try that out because it looks really good let me see how long it is Ah, y'all, ah. So here I am, plucking the wig. Like I said, I saw this plucking tutorial on TikTok. Um, I will actually put the link for it down below because, I mean, I tried it. It, I just feel like, I don't know. I just need to practice plucking more. But the tweezers I use are like just pointed tweezers, not like the angle ones everybody else uses. Because I feel like the pointed tweezers pull out the knot, like, more precisely. But I was just following the girl tutorial, and I don't think it was that good for this week because of how the lace was, but I liked it. Hi, guys. Welcome back to another video. So, as you can see, this video is a... AliExpress wig install. Yes, I have this 30 inch wig. Um, I bought from AliExpress. I still like I still don't know. I already bleached the knots and I already plucked it a little. I'm gonna plug it some more on my head because I feel like it looks a little thick. But y'all look at the wig, y'all. So it's transparent lace. I bleached the knots really good on this one. I actually over bleached it. I like this one part right here let's get started y'all subscribe down below because this is like my third one. Oh no this is my first aliexpress wig and i only bought this wig because i saw this tiktok right here and i was like okay say say less say less and say less so i did my ball cap method which um you can do you can watch any tutorial you want and I used this Ruby Kisses cream foundation, the darker part. You know, they kind of look the same, but the darker one. This one is in RDF 15. That's my foundation on my ball cap, and that's my foundation on my wig. So, I'm going to show y'all. I also have it clipped in the back. I want to show y'all the lace, actually. Like, I don't know about y'all, but I'm not used to wigs having the lace. Like, why is this so far up? 
Like, if you can see where the hair is on the side, the tracks start right here. Like, I don't like that. It's supposed to be 13 by 6. It's giving 13. The only 6 is in the middle, and, and it's 13 by 2 right here. 13 by 2, 13 by 6 in the middle. And I don't really like that. Like, you can do a little curved part to the middle, like a side part. But I still don't like the little track part. Because my other wig, where did it go? This wig I got from Amazon, it gives you way more space. Like, this is where the tracks is right here. It's like, it's just, it's not that far. Like, this is how, this is where, this is how the lace looks. Like, comparing it to this one, it's two totally different things. Like, yeah. Dimensions. So... I cut out all the cones because at first I was wondering, I didn't know if I was going to do a ball cap, but regardless, I cut them all out and I put both of the hooks to the middle one and that's very, a very snug fit on my head, which I like. Like, look at the wig, y'all. And I also sprayed my ball cap using this black can that I've been spraying. I love using this for my ball cap. I'm not using it on my lace because I'm not sure if I really like it on the lace. So I've only been using it for a ball cap because when I use got to be glue on my ball cap, it never stay in place. But when I use this, it's on there. I forgot to show y'all my braid down as well. I gotta push these hairs back. So I cut out my ear tab already. Like this one. I'm gonna put these hairs back again with my move. Okay, I don't know. Did I tell y'all the details of this hair? So yeah, I just cut the sections. I didn't go all the way to the hair. But um, the glue I'm using is Boho Extreme Cream. I haven't had any allergic reactions to this. This uh, I've been using this glue for all my installs, and I've been saying like I uh, don't mind that. That's my bit, but I'm been saying like oh um I don't want no glue. I don't want to use glue no more. But I feel like when you first install a wig, you should use glue. But after you you know take it off and do it again you can use spray i feel like glue is perfect for the initial melt so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna figure out where the hair is it's it's a tiktok i watch she use a marker oh i think i have one right here i'm gonna apply the glue along my hairline right here i do dots so i'm looking in the mirror i want to show y'all still though Use whatever you use, popsicle stick. I'm in. I'm using the end of a right tail comb, just moving it out. And you don't add another layer until every part is clear. I'm ready for another layer. And when you're applying the second layer, you want to make sure you are like. You see how much glue just came out. You want to make sure you really are squeezing so it's just not the applicator not just thick gonna pull the wig down and comb it into the glue. This side.
move on to this side this section so i'm just repeating this whole thing i'll just do a section at a time so it's you know easier for me so for this one i'm measuring where i want to put it which is like a little bit right before right above right here so i'm gonna put the glue like I'm going to glue directly above my edges. So, yeah. Okay, so I glued down both of this, all of the sides. And I put on this band. This band isn't tight, y'all. I think, I guess, I stretched it out with my big head. So, you know, I don't think my head big, but it's not tight no more. <laughs> but I had it on for like 10 minutes. I'm going to take it off. Ooh. So just go where you see these. I'm gonna go in the middle first and cut as close to the hairline as possible. Damn, I added the glue all the way up here. So the last time I had recorded, I had cut the lace off my wig, and then I used the black even spread it with my finger and just tapped it down so the lace would melt. So I had been wearing this wig for a week. So from last Sunday to this Sunday that just passed, today's Monday. And I want to show y'all like the hair, it tangles. So this is me giving my honest review i paid my own money for this nobody sent me this the hair tangles i'm not sure if it's in synthetic like what you call it blend like mixed with human hair because when i bleached the knots they bleached like i don't know if the front was human and the back is synthetic but i never did any baby hairs on here i was just wearing a wig as like my real hair and within the week my ear tabs came up which is always the first side to come up for me however i'm not blaming it on the wig i had i stopped tying my hair down for like i tied my hair down like three days in a row then i just gave up because i didn't care anymore so that's on me which you know i'm fine with my ball cap is still on underneath so i'm good and regardless, I was wearing the middle parts. Oh, so you can't even tell I flat ironed it. Like, let me show y'all how tangled this is. I'm gonna split my hair in half so y'all can see one side that's tangled versus one side that's not. So this side is gonna stay tangled. This side is gonna get detangled. So I just used this wooden brush. Also, I have no idea where all this lint came from in this brush, like in this brush. So I always start with the ends. I'm brushing different directions on the ends. Slowly work your way up. See this hair right here. And I'll brush on the top. It's like, it's not hard to brush out, y'all. Especially if you brush it before you go to sleep and put your bonnet on. As you can see, this is how it looks. This is how the other side looks. Uh, you can run your fingers through it. But this side, not really. It's going to get caught somewhere. Like, mainly closer to the end. So I'm going to brush this side out as well. Because I want to show y'all, like, As soon as the hair moves from where you originally brushed it out at, it literally tangles right back up. But I had to keep a brush on me 24-7. And I thought flat ironing it would make it easier, but no. So 
so you see that like let me brush that leaf away like damn look i just brushed this side out and it's tangled again and like when i brush my hair i split it in half like i just did brush it out Then put it back to my back. And then that short amount of time is tangled again, y'all. Literally. It's tangled again. Like if y'all if you look at my back, it's tangled again. Like all right. All I did was push it to the back. So yeah, this hair tangles a lot. It's long, however, it tangles a lot. So I really don't like hair that tangles. I really don't, especially this much. I don't know if I curl it. I feel like if you curl this way, it will be better because you know you don't really have to keep brushing out curls. But wearing this wig straight, it was originally a body weight wig. However, I don't really think it was that much of a body weight a blend. Also, um. The reason why I bought this wig is because it said 30 inches for like $150, which is a really good deal. However, if I knew it was going to tangle like this, I probably wouldn't have bought it because it's no point in having long hair if it's going to keep tangling every five seconds. They still look pretty good. Like, I haven't been tying it down, but it's still, like, it obviously has some glue build up, but I still look pretty good. And I feel like if I did some edges, it would look very good. Like, the space and other lace. Like, right here, it's like one inch before it goes to the tracks. And that don't make sense to me. I don't really think it was that much of a body weight weight. I really do think maybe it do have some synthetic fibers in there. Because, other than the price point, but... Because why is it hanging up so much? It shouldn't be doing this. I did save some hair from when I cut the lace. So I'm going to burn that and see. I'm going to burn it. Just a little piece. So I cut this off the lace. I'm going to just burn the ends. Hopefully y'all can see. I'm not sure what the difference is. Oh. That ran right up. Did y'all see that? I got synthetic hair now. I don't know. Let me see. So here's the hair. This is when I first installed it. As you can see, like, on my forehead, I had, like, a lot of glue right there because I put too much glue when I first installed it. And I was unable to actually clear it off, so... But the install was flawless. It looked very good. It was giving. It was giving. And once I cleaned that up, yeah, it was giving. It was giving. Even with the ball part. 